Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. What I tell people, I've done a few workshops on feedback with corporate professionals, and there's a lot of crossover, and we've been talking about that. Something I always say is, if you want to know how to be successful giving feedback, think about a moment in your life when you received feedback that you actually acted on. What was true about that moment, about the timing that it was delivered in, about the way it was delivered, about who it came from that allowed you to act on it? And it, when you really think about that, what you realize is that there are very few moments in your life where you've been given feedback and you've actually acted on it. What that tells me is giving unsolicited feedback generally isn't a bad idea. And I say bad idea in that if your goal is to get someone to change their behavior and they're not soliciting that from you, you're just really falling on deaf ears. You're giving information to someone who does not have a vested interest in getting information. Now, that doesn't mean we can't give feedback. It just means you you want to create an environment where this person might be interested in soliciting your feedback. If that's your kid, if that's an athlete that you coach and you can pose questions, I could say, Marcus, I, I loved being at your game today. There were a few things that I saw and I'm curious, would you like me to share my perspective of, of how you played today? And if you say no, I'm going to honor that and not say anything, but I'm going to let you know that I observed something and I'm willing to share it with you if you're interested in hearing it, but I'm letting you decide because if you opt in to receiving that feedback, the chances of you actually acting on it are going to increase tremendously. And the great thing about that too, is that you put that out there, they may not be ready to accept feedback at that moment, but they know that you have it. And then when they're ready, they can come to where, you know, they can approach you and whether that's the next day, later that week, after they get something to eat, which usually helps, um, you know, they know that it's there. Right. And you could also, <laughs> the analogy I'm going to use here is there, I know some parents with little kids who want their kids to eat more vegetables. So they, they grind them up and they mix them in with brownies. I think if we apply that same concept to feedback, if let's say I watch you play I'm watching you play soccer and I'm a parent and I, I have some feedback that I want to give you. And I feel pretty confident in the feedback I want to give you as opposed to making it personal to you. Let's say I'm wanting you to try out some type of strategy, some new strategy when it comes to how you approach the ball, instead of making it personal about you, what I might do is maybe I'll go on YouTube and find a video of some highly credible soccer player and say, have you ever watched how this person approaches the ball? Have you thought about trying it out like this. What do you think would happen if you tried it like this? Now I'm not telling, I'm not making any statement about the way you play. I'm simply opening your eyes to another approach, which is exactly where I wanted to get you in the first place. And now it doesn't feel personal to you. And I might pique your curiosity enough to say, huh, maybe I should try it like that. Maybe that would help me.